Hey, it's Joe Glines. This video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use AutoHotKey to sort uh, both single columns and multiple col well, two columns. That's all I built into my function here. So um, let's first start with the single. So Excel sort rows. No, sorry, sort used range. Um, maybe I should change it to sort one column. But anyway, so Excel. And then you got to tell it, um, do you want to include the header row? Um, no, I don't want it. There is a header row. That's what that's asking. So yeah, the defaults are one, but okay. Now sort column. Let's go ahead and just sort on column A and we're going to sort it. Let's say descending. Oh, I forgot to quote it. So save it, reload it, run it. And notice that it, it, it found my used range, um, and then sorted based on column A. Um, if I change this to, let's change this to ascending. It'll flip it, um, or I can change the column to F, right? And it'll sort on that. So that's the single um, column, and then Excel sort two columns use range. So Excel, comma. Uh, so for the first column, um, we'll sort on, let's do A, and how do we want to sort it? So we'll sort it. Let's do descending since it looks like it's close to ascending already. And then the second column, let's do column B. And we'll sort it by descending. Oh, forgot to quote. So save it, reload it, run it. So there now it first sorted column A. And then after sorting column A, it sorted column B um, in descending. But I can flip the, the column B to ascending. You'll see a little shift. Yeah, so column A still stayed, um, just some of the values in column B shifted. Let's do the first one by column B, ascending, and then A, we'll do descending. So sometimes, now I know in, in Excel you can get, there is a way programmatically to get past three. Um, it was a much trickier, so this was just a, um, a quick function, because usually two is all I ever really want to do, but I hope that helps. Cheers.